Welcome to my lecture online. In this video, we're going to find the identity of the cosine of the half angle. Remember in the previous video, we found the identity for the sine of the half angle. And notice that we use this form of the cosine of twice the angle to find the identity for the sine of half angle. We're going to use the other form of the cosine of twice the angle to find the identity for the cosine of the half angle. All right, why is that? Because notice here, when we change this equation to the following, we're going to divide the angles by uh, 2 on both cases. So this becomes the cosine of theta, therefore is equal to 2 times the cosine square of theta divided by 2 minus 1. That's still valid. And then using this equation over here, we can then write that the cosine of theta is equal to 2 times the cosine square of theta divided by 2 minus 1. And then I'm going to turn the equation around. So this becomes 2 times the cosine square of theta over 2 minus 1 equals the cosine of theta. And now we move the 1 across. So this becomes 2 times the cosine square of theta over 2 equals the cosine of theta plus 1. Now we divide both sides by 2, so we end up with the cosine square of theta over 2 equals the cosine of theta plus 1 over 2. And finally, we take the, uh, uh, we take the square root of both sides, so this can be written as a cosine of theta over 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of cosine of theta plus 1 over 2, or if you like to write it, this can be written as plus or minus the square root of 1 plus the cosine of theta divided by 2. So either, either way, uh, it is the same. The only difference is, and of course, you have a minus here when we have the sine of theta over 2 and a plus when we have the cosine of theta over 2. Let me check to make sure. Yeah, that's right. So that's why we wrote in this form, because that way when we put a minus here, we end up with the cosine of theta over 2. So let's write that. So the sine of theta over 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 minus the cosine of theta divided by 2. And so you can see the similarity between those two forms, where here with the cosine you get a plus, and with the sine you get a minus. Helps memorize it a little bit easier. All right, and that is how it's done.